Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Pisces. Uh, this is going to be for the first half of your August from the 1st to the 15th. We're going to take a look at your over energies, uh, what energies are surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the first half of your month, and then we will see what the possible outcome and advice are and what else you guys need to know. Um, so apply this to your own unique situation, switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Um, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, what else? Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective. Um, <coughs> Pisces people, so I'm not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading um, specific to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in, is in the description box below. Also, a quick note that these um, this uh, reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Okay, so Pisces, let's get started. Uh, over energies for Pisces. What energies are surrounding Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? What can Pisces expect for uh, the first half of their August from the 1st to 15th? One more. Get the nine of swords seems like you guys are having sleepless nights stress and anxiety things are keeping you awake at night seems like the past is keeping you up at night here okay so i feel like you, you guys are thinking about the past a lot maybe dreaming about the past a lot okay um four of cups and the three of cups here Now, for some of you guys, you guys may be seeing spirits in your sleep, okay? And this could be, you know, somebody, somebody some, like somebody's or someone that has passed. I, I feel like there's a situation where someone here is getting someone's attention. Someone here, here needs help, and it's a spirit here. Or spirits. I mean, they're they're communing with you. They're 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 trying to get your attention here. And I do feel like this maybe someone. This is someone that you know. Four of cups, three of cups here. Three of pentacles and a ten of swords. Okay. I do feel like someone here passed very abruptly, unexpectedly. And I do feel like, you know, there's an energy of someone here, you know, maybe someone here tried to save someone's life and it just didn't happen that way. Something happened really quickly and I feel like there's a situation where a spirit is sort of asking you for help. And this is someone from your past, okay? Um, tell me about this Nine of Swords. Why is this Nine of Swords here? I ain't feeling like spirit is trying to get your attention here, Pisces. Nine of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Six of Cups and the Tower. Here is Scorpio energy. Yeah. I feel like this could could have been someone really close to you. It could be a family member. It could be an ex. It could be a friend. This, this was really unexpected. And I feel like this person has been in your head or been in and around your energy here for a while. I feel like this is an individual that could be trapped on a different plane and it's is looking for you, turning to you for help, Pisces. Aries Scorpio energy with the tower. Four of cups. Strength, Leo energy. Three of cups in judgment here. There's an energy of not knowing what to do. Like I said, I feel like spirit is trying to get your attention here.
could be a situation that you're trying to gain the courage to do something here. Yeah, the Three of Cups. Uh, I mean, sorry, Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups here. The Ten of Swords and the Three of Wands. Like I said, I feel like Pisces. For some of you guys, you might have, a, have the gift to travel to different realms. And whoever this is, you might be seeing this person in different realms here, in your dreams. Spirit is definitely trying to get your attention here. This, it seems like this person, something happened in the water here to this person. It was pretty quick. Whatever this is, something happened when this person was traveling. Yeah, it, it, I'm not quite sure what happened, but it was really fast. Yeah, super fast. And now this person is trapped. Their soul is trapped. Outcome and advice here for Pisces regarding their situation. What else does Pisces need to know for the first half of their August from the 1st to the 15th? What else do we have here for Pisces? Justice, Libra energy, Four of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. I don't know. It seems like maybe this is like, I, I'm feeling like this could be a past life situation where you're meant to do something with somebody here and it was not done in the past life and it's supposed to happen again. This is interesting because I feel like someone here, I feel like the spirit is sort of living, reliving something over and over and over and over again. Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune here. Is this a child? It, it seems like this is like a childhood friend, but you could apply this to your own unique situation. It could be a family member, it could be an ex. Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands here. Some of you guys are getting a job offer here, so I feel like you guys might be signing papers regarding that. Yeah. Um, watch out for what's been spoken in an interview and what's been written on paper, because I feel like there's something here that's not aligned here. Yeah, so uh, be careful not to get duped. Yeah, because I feel like something is being, was, promise to you but I feel like it won't happen okay so just be careful justice eight of cups four of pentacles and a five of swords page of pentacles and a king of swords Libra Aquarius Gemini the wheel of fortune and a ten of wands here there's some karmic situation that's being released here and it has something to do with the spirit here too yeah, I, I just feel like this is so specific to somebody, so I feel like it's not going to resonate with all of you guys. Uh, Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Swords, Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. With the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. This is interesting because I feel like there, there's all this going on in the spirit realm, in the psychic realm, but, you know, I feel like you guys are cool as a cucumber here. You guys are happy in your life. Eight of Cups and a Five of Swords. Whatever the spirit thing that's coming towards you, I feel like you're just not ready to deal with it yet. Yeah. King of Wands and a Ten of Wands, and that's okay. It, 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 you know, you have a say in what you want to do, you know, when it comes to this. You know, so we have the Ten of Wands here. You know, uh, in this situation, I think it's important to set up energetic boundaries here. Okay? You know, say no if you don't want to do it. That's okay. Uh, Six of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, because I feel like there's someone here that's needing your help. 
you know, there's the energy of definitely moving on here. You guys could be moving to somewhere new regarding this new job offer. Like I said, you're signing a contract here. Make sure that what they're promising to you by word is on paper because I feel like they might, they might dupe you. Okay, so just look out for that. Um, so, um, Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.